An architect by the name of John Wender is suing an Ivy League journal editor by the name of Louise Sieberling because he accuses that she has created an anonymous blog where he basically de de does or she does complete character assassination. He, she, he's suing her for defamation because she says some pretty hideous things in there, allegedly. Now again, it's an anonymous blog, so we don't know if it's her for sure, but they dated, they went on about three dates, he alleges, and after the three dates, he decided to call it off. She became so enraged about it that she created this blog and said some horrible things. Now there were three blogs in question, here are the titles of them, Truth About John Wender, John Wender Liar, John Wender Architect. Now, she claims uh, that he is in some crazy, uh, into some crazy sexual acts, including rape play, uh, daddy-daughter scenarios, strap-on play, autoerotic asphyxia. Look, she listed about 20 different things, including fisting, teacher-student scenarios, water sports and scat, forced orgasm, which I'm not familiar with. Uh, I d does that really happen? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so. Uh, Here's what we can safely assume. It doesn't happen with John Wender. Uh, I, th whoever is doing this websites uh, obviously has a grudge against him and is making stuff up. Absolutely. Okay. So uh, these, these are crazy accusations. I feel terrible for the guy because, yeah. I mean, it, it, if ever there was a clear defamation case, this would be a clear defamation case. Because she says terrible things, whoever the person is, says terrible things about his body, about what he likes about sex, about what he does, allegedly does to his family. I mean, horrible stuff. So sh should we give him more examples? Yeah, of course we should. All right, so um, if you look at the, the front page, it says John Wender, sleazy cheater, sleazy cheater, sociopathic, narcissist, pathological liar, misogynist, drug and alcohol abuser, architect. <laughs> I like how she keeps throwing in architect. I know. You know why? Because she's trying to be fair. I mean, he's all these things, but on the, on the upside, he he's is, an architect. He is an architect, yes. Um, collects women, uses women, enjoys charming them and winning them over, but it's all part of his twisted game. Look. I don't know who did this, and again, it's really important to reiterate that because there is no evidence at this moment in indicating that it is the woman who went out on three dates with him. However, if it is the woman who went out on three dates with him, this is so unbelievably pathetic. If you had dated him for five years, this is unbelievably pathetic. To put someone on blast like that, even if these things were true, you just don't do that. It's the tackiest, most unclassy thing imaginable. And it's obvious that some, it was someone who dated him, because that last sentence there, like, it goes out with women on dates and then yeah. uses them and then gets rid of them. Yeah, I know, you got butt hurt over it, okay? Just bring it down, okay? To do this is what a psycho, man. This is like every guy's nightmare. This is every person's nightmare because that's the thing about the internet. You can say whatever you want to say about anyone and, and there's really no one checking it. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I'm glad he sued because through the uh, suit, we'll get to find out if it really was her and then there should be consequences. This is illegal, it is slander. Absolutely. Right. So uh, let's go to one of the other um, blogs that she wrote. Uh, John Wender is a New York architect who frequently engages in illicit sex play such as BDSM and objectification. He enjoys degrading women, violence toward women uh, sexually, not limited to but including medical play, daddy-daughter scenarios, fisting, teacher-student scenarios, bondage, over-the-knee rope play, dominance, breast torture, water sports. I mean, every, every negative thing you could possibly imagine, she just mentioned. It's just everything. I don't even believe that there's a single person out there that is into all of those things at once. Okay, I like how she threw on strap-on play. Okay, and, and I like that she looked up or was already familiar with all those different things because I wasn't even familiar with all those different things. Like there's some things that was like- I don't know what scat play yeah, is. Yeah, it sounds like jazz, but I don't think it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then she put the picture of that ganged and rope woman as if that's what the guy was doing. Yeah. But he didn't do that. That's okay. just a random, that's stock photo. That's right. what that is. Yeah. Um, um, on the upside, he is an architect. He's an architect, <laughs> let's be fair. Um, from a sep September 2nd post, she wrote, let's update this post with the recent events of John Wender's sleazy life. By the way, this could be a jealous man as well. Maybe he is putting it away, right? And maybe there's some dude who's like really jealous of it, so he wants to, <laughs> you don't know who it is. You don't know who it is. Um, he is still married, yet now impregnated one of his sluts who is keeping her, bas her bastard child. This is a terrible person. 
John Wender is now going to be a father again at the age of 53. During this, he's continuing his seedy BDSM lifestyle, drug abuse, and quest to fuck and fuck over every woman in New York City, and that tiny STD invested, infested wiener. With that tiny STD yeah. infested wiener. What I find is amazing is how that little micro penis manages to impregnate any woman. There's no way it's a guy. It's definitely a, a butthurt one. You think so? Oh, uh, of course. I mean, it this could be. I mean, I don't doubt it. I'm just saying there are endless possibilities because this is an anonymous blog. But if he really did, in fact, have a micro penis, you wouldn't be so hurt about this, right? Yeah. You I would. Mean, you would probably the one who. You would be the one who would leave him if you were so, you know, dissatisfied with the sex. Or like, so oh yeah, whatever. I didn't want your STD infected micro penis anyway. Yeah, I'm sure. It sounds like she got some strap on play, and she didn't like it. Okay, that she liked it too much and didn't like it when it ended. Uh -huh. some, more, like, no, she, the degree to the, how psycho this person is is uh, indescribable. She then put out some weird teeth thing and, and like, said that he had like plaque and he had decay. Plaque. I mean, like that was a level of bizarreness that went beyond the scat. Because like, what do you put a picture of teeth? Like, there's something wrong with it. Obviously, massively mentally wrong with you. And I, you know, I hope he figures out who it is, I hope he shuts it down, and I hope he gets damages. Because you gotta send a message, man, this is unacceptable. Just because it's the internet doesn't mean you can do insane character assassinations like this. Because think about it, anytime anybody Googles him now, this is the stuff they're gonna get. I know. And they have no idea that it's made up. And he's suing for a significant amount of money, $1.25 million. So we'll see what happens. I hope that there is a full-on investigation into this because you can't, you can't say these hideous things about someone and just leave it online. You're right. Employers are going to see that. Family members are going to see that. You know, friends are going to see that. It's horrible. You know, it, students might see it and think that he's going to do uh, scenarios on them and, you know, and uh, take them over the knee and do some role play, you know? And we can't have that. Like, you know, maybe he, maybe he pissed off the NSA, and the NSA is releasing this stuff about him. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, by the way, there's no evidence that he's done one percent of any exactly. of this. Exactly. Okay. Now, human beings amuse me, man. Mm -hmm. Look at that long list. That is a long list. Like, do you think that there is a single person on the planet that really is into everything on that list? Every single oh, yeah, thing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I bet uh, there's. A minimum of a, a couple of thousand Germans that are into it. Okay. <laughs> oh, right, that's right. That's like standard in German sex, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. das, das ist Vitamin. I mean, they just go down the list and they're very methodical about it. <laughs> okay. Germans, I love you, man. I'm playing. You know, Germany is, I think, in our top five uh, cu countries that view us the most. You better stop pissing them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a and a Geburtstag. Don't worry. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. And it's not even the correct uh -huh. way of saying it. Anyway. Um, as I look at the list, last thing, as I look at the list, I think like, once again, the conversation I had with Jimmy, you know, like a week ago, thanks God that I was born with the incredibly mild fetishes uh, that, that, you know, that we discussed. Because imagine I mean, you're into this stuff and you gotta bring the rope and you gotta bring the pony. I assume a scat means something and believe me, I have no interest in that. Can one of you guys look it up? No, I, look, it's water sports and scat, so it must mean shitting. <laughs> you didn't get that? <laughs> so yeah, call me crazy, call me vanilla, but I don't want to shit in the middle of sex. <laughs> okay, well, I don't want to do it, I don't want her to do it, I don't want anybody that's, to do it. That's terrible. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take vanilla any day. Not in favor of chocolate. <laughs>